trying to get our attention. And everyone is here. We are all present. <clears throat> Wonderful. In that case, I'm going to call to order the Thursday, January 12th, 2003 meeting of the Monona Community Media Committee. Um, Will, have you got the roll call written down there? I do have the roll call. Everyone is present for this meeting. It's wonderful. And is there a motion to start the approval process for the minutes from our last meeting? I'll move approval of the minutes. Fantastic. I'll second. Is there any, would anyone have any suggestions for changes or updates that you think we need to make? They're pretty succinct, right? And who seconded? I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen. I oh, did. and who motioned? Katie did, yeah. And then somebody seconded? I did, if I just oh, jumped okay. in. All right. Okay. All right, hearing none, minutes pass. Let's move on to uh, let's move on to what we've got on the agenda for tonight. So um, new business, a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna let Will do a lot of the talking here. Um, we have this fantastic opportunity, right? If you remember with the with the budget this past uh, time around, we were uh, it was approved that we would move forward with an app that would let people just more conveniently tap into sort of the video side of what community media offers our community. And, uh, and so now we, we get the app and now we get to figure out how we're gonna promote the app and educate people so they use the app, right? Um, so did I, is that kind of how you would say it, Will? Um, why don't you go ahead and share with others what, what you were thinking? Uh, yeah, I, and I, I don't know if, you know, direct action on the promotion of the app needs to happen mm -hmm. tonight, uh, but I thought I would explain a little bit what it offers quick, and I know we kind of know, but just to get an idea, so when we talk about where we're going to promote, how we're going to promote, we know a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, and then more specifically, maybe what, what we call the app and where we go from there. So the... <clears throat> The app is essentially uh, taking the video server and putting it onto a Apple and Android mobile device app. So anybody with their phone can go and download this app from the Apple store or uh, Android, however you download there. I've never owned an Android. Um, and so with this app, it's essentially like our own YouTube. It's pretty much laid out similar to that when you when you log into it. Uh, and it'll be our own application. You won't have to go to, you know, uh, the company's website or app and then find us. It's legitimately our own. So we name it what we want. And, and I think the, the benefit of the app itself is that it's not going to come with a hundred videos on it. You know, that we don't have, everything we load into our video server doesn't have to be on the app. We literally have to do some uh, metadata in order for it to go onto the app. So when we get the app, it's literally gonna be 10 videos or whatever we load up. So it's gonna be real easy right away for people to to go to what they want to see. Now we're obviously going to have to load, backload a bunch of videos so that people have access to the last, I don't know, couple months of meetings um, mm -hmm. and some basketball games and things like that, choir concerts. Um, but but right away it should be easily easier navigation wise than the the monster of YouTube. We're still going to go on YouTube, like we'll just have our YouTube channel and this because it's obviously going to take a while for to kind of whatever you want to call that, move over uh, to, to this app. And, and maybe they never will. Maybe we'll always just have both. And I don't know if that'll be the right answer, but it's a little too early to tell. Um, so 
so moving forward, thinking about how we want to promote this so that it makes sense and that people can understand that it's actually a legitimate app on your phone. Um, we could also have it on um, some of the over the top boxes like uh, Apple TV, Roku, uh, I think Amazon Prime Stick or Fire Stick, but that costs money for each of those uh, developing an application for each one of those um, those devices. So I guess I thought having it be mobile would be the best form to start with because not everybody has Apple TV and not everybody has um, Roku, but pretty much everybody, most people have a smartphone. So that's the first part of it. So promoting it, getting it out to obviously Facebook channels on WVMO, promoting it on our own YouTube page, promoting it on other people's Facebook page that we're able to do. Uh, and just really, you know, having a sign or signage, perhaps at City Hall, putting it on the digital signage boards that we have control of, um, things like that. Uh, the messaging. Uh, I think we can work on as we go, as we move forward. And, and with that, I guess the biggest thing for me is, and for me and Brennan, as we talked about it, uh, and, and a lot of you have discussed it with us over the years, uh, is when we talk about getting this new app, calling it Monona Community Media, I don't, I started to think that perhaps uh, and, and Brennan felt the same way that perhaps we don't want to do that because then we're stuck for the rest of our existence or as Monona Community Media through this app as opposed to, uh, uh, and if we did that, then if we wanted to change it, let's say, we have to pay, you know, like $2,000 for them to redesign the app. We've been in this struggle since the beginning of WVMO and its success that people essentially just call us WVMO. We go to the senior center to record something and they go, WVMO is here. We're there with our cameras. Well, uh, yes, we are, but we're the community media department. Um, Same thing with the parks in the summertime. WVMO is here. Right. Right. Yeah. Got a camera, public and library, et cetera. Even teachers in the hallway will say, hey, we listened to WVMO last night. So it's almost got to this point of are we you know we're trying to it's it's getting a, a push pull thing where i grapple with are we fighting a battle that we shouldn't fight anymore and we should just be externally branding everything under wvmo and call it wvmo tv or wvmo broadcasting or wvmo i came up with a bunch of different synonyms for visual WBO video done right mm -hmm. uh, and we're just mm -hmm. using what we already have and what everybody already knows the voice of Monona WBMO um, and so I bring that up because as we build the app and the app's got to have the graphics and the, the description and the title and all those things I wanted to get you know some feedback and Brennan as well, looking ahead at how he's going to construct the server and everything and, and the page. Just get some feedback on your, your what you, as of what you know, and, and maybe some challenges to it, some reasons why we shouldn't do it, and hopefully some reasons why it makes sense to you guys. You know, Will, I'll just add to to, in addition to what you just said, some of the one thing that you said to me when we sort of had a little pre meeting was you know, you think about WISE in Madison, they sort of, you know, WVMO TV. I, I mean, we already sort of have that naming, um, you know, convention in our, you know, lexicon. People are already sort of thinking in those terms. Um, Another thing you said just now, you know, the V, the voice of Monona, V can also stand for video, you know, the voice and video of Monona. The only thing that that I wondered about is like at the school, you know, like do the students from Cottage Grove feel excluded if we're always calling it 
Manona, Manona, Manona. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it is at the high school and the high school is geographically in the city of Manona. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. I, I don't know. Well, here's my take and, and other people, please chime in, especially Lois. Um, right now they're under the guise of Monona Community Media. So it, it's still mm -hmm. under that Monona moniker. Mm -hmm. And the, the club is called Monona Grove AV Club. So, um, you know, let's say we were to take Monona Community Media's Facebook page and merge it with WVMO. So all the members were under the D WVMO page. Um, we still have that uh, announcements and MGAV club situation where do we want to then create a Facebook page just for the club where we would post as we normally do just the announcements links and the choir concert band concerts links and all that. So we wouldn't, I guess we wouldn't necessarily, uh, in some ways we would be simplifying a little bit what we do. And in other ways, adding this other element to, to perhaps heighten the, the, the eyes of the heighten the, what do I want to say, the popularity or the visible the visibility. visibility of the yeah. AV club. Sure. Mm. And of course, that's just like one platform. YouTube would have to change to, to a name as well and not be Monona Community Media. And, and we could do that. Um, the website city website you know instead of going to monona community media maybe you'd go to wvmo radio and tv or yeah. radio radio i don't know mm -hmm. right i mean these are things to, to kind of flush out but um that's kind of where we're at as we think of putting money into branding a product it's kind of a I felt it feels like it's a little bit more of an urgency time than just kind of saying oh we can push this down the road again Sure. I think Susan had a question in Katie too. Well, so. again, I think you've made some excellent points and that is no matter what the radio has been, um, when the kids come together in ninth grade, that's a major thing that they do in reaching out to the community to the entire school community at the high school. Um, my only concern about WVMO, no matter what the seniors, again, I'm on the senior <laughs> foundation, so I get it, um, think when you come in the door, WVMO, again, Bob Miller, the radio. I mean, yeah. you think about even the seniors center at St. Mary's, Mm -hmm. over here on the east side of town that listens to a WVMO it sounds like the radio. So if if you say WVMO TV, yeah. um, I don't know that a lot of people know what WVMO means. I think they think it's like you said, WISC, just yeah. letters for a yeah. radio station. So again, I think the thoughts about how to blend this create it's tricky. Yeah. But and you can't really say um MG. Um yeah. WVMG. It's, it's really <laughs> a city factored right. um program. And the district contracts with the city yeah. or a part of the program. Yeah. It'd be interesting to hear what Katie has to say. Yeah, Katie, are you there? Yep. Um, I I guess my perspective is that, um, yes, WVMO are the call letters, right? That's the sign for the radio station. But to me, the, the product is the voice of Monona, right? And I think TV, mm -hmm. I think that still applies to TV. So like, I think it becomes the voice of Monona voice as in perspective yeah. you know all of that and that the radio station is wvmo the the tv is i don't know mm -hmm. some other something else but but it's the the product is we're creating the voice of monona and then it's mm -hmm. the, the rest of it is um is 
detail really that I'm not sure has to be figured out right this second, but that, I, mm-hmm. but I agree that community media means very little to most people and that um, voice of Monona might mean more. Um, That's a great point. I feel like you might have said this last time we talked about it. <laughs> I think, and, and I think, you know, like community media could still be your department name. I don't think your depart- department name needs to switch to the voice of Monona because again, like to me, it's a product that you're creating. It's mm-hmm. like having, yep, you have WISC, but everybody says channel free. Right. Yeah, that's what everybody exactly. or news three now, whatever. So that to me, yeah. that's what that's the difference is like we're we're talking about like to me, very small details of like, but yet we're all sort of like I think we're all on the same page of like, yeah, that's community media isn't our product. Our product is the voice of Monona. Voice Monona. May I voice means perspective. Can I, ask, just mean. can I ask you a, can I ask you a question? I'm on I'm just on the phone, so I'm raising my yeah. hand. Come can on you, in. Can you hear me? Yes. Will uh would we eventually would we eventually ever be able to stream WVMO radio on the same app? Uh, I, I have been asked that question and I don't know if this app has that capabilities um, because it's a video app. It's not for taking a stream, an audio stream and just continually streaming it. So my guess yeah. is, you know, probably not. Okay. My, my, I guess my point is I like the idea of WVMO too for branding kind of under that umbrella. And if eventually technology changes and apps become cheaper and we can uh, more economically have a video and a radio streaming app all in one, um, then right. everything's WVMO. That was my only point yeah that would be that okay. would be yep that would be nice I, I i agree so dave i'm sorry can i was just trying to capture that in the meeting notes so i i think what i'm hearing you say is that well maybe you could just say it in like two sentences well i would first off i i'm in favor of using the wvmo as the umbrella okay. for the branding for both radio and TV, but okay. also uh, down the road, if we were to have WBMO radio streaming in the same app as people are accessing uh, video content, other media content, um, then branding that as WBMO uh, kind of makes that a better fit. So down the road, it would not just be TV. It could be back to the old radio station. It could be TV and radio under one VMO, which is still the voice of Monona, right? There's somehow, it's all, Correct. Know. I I agree with, yes, I agree with Katie on that point. It all can be considered the voice of Monona. Whether it's written, video, or uh, radio. Anita or Dave, is there anything else? I know Anita had her hand up, but want to make sure you've said what you wanted to. No, I'm done. Okay. Thank you. Anita, what what do you get? Yeah, I guess I'm not a fan of WVMO as the name. It's too siloed. Okay. It makes it seem like it's just radio content yeah. on there. I'd like it um, more. It sounds like the content is more all encompassing. It's not just school. It's not just um, radio. It's also government meetings, right? Committee yeah. meetings. So something just more simple and catchy, like my Monona Media or something like that. Something more broad, you know, or just my Monona or just, hmm. you know, just in terms of also promoting the app. You know, go to the app store and download the. You know, a, a simple name, my Monona Media app, or, or something just just not as nicheified, I guess. That my example is probably a bad one, but a more so broad. So your point, your yeah. point is that VMO is conveys doesn't convey enough. Yeah, because just, there's so much it, more yes, that we do. Yeah, it's just it conveys more than radio, and a lot of like uh, Susan said, a lot of people don't know about the radio station, so they might just not pay attention they would think it's more radio station stuff so yeah so that's 
but Monona, sure. media, Monona Community Media is clunky. It um, is. Yeah. So something more streamlined, yet a little catchy. That's what I was All thinking, right. but that's just my yeah. take. No, it's as good as anyone else's. That's great. Yeah. Amanda, what, did, what were you? I saw your hand up. Joe's had his hand up for longer than I am. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't even see next. Joe. My apologies. <laughs> I don't know how to do the fancy hand thing where you have it up on your oh, screen. So I was actually Joe, holding my hand. The reaction at the bottom. We gotta I so, have to go the reaction. Right? So, uh, so hey, um, how about we take the W off? It's VMO TV. Just VMO, and take the W off, and it's snappier. It rolls trippingly off the tongue. VMO TV. There, that's my two cents. <laughs> Anita, what were you thinking? Or I'm sorry, Amanda. Um, my first thought when I heard it was I thought uh, WVMO TV was catchy, but then after the conversation, so I worked at NBC 15 out of college, and no one called NBC 15 WMTV except for the TV folk. But now, just looking at my Play Store right now, most of the Madison TV stations have their call letters with something else like WMTV, mm -hmm. NBC 15 News, um, 27 News Now, WKOW. So maybe it's a combination of like some, I didn't think about the My Monona because we called the My Monona newsletter. So right. maybe it's a combination of WV or My Monona, WVMO, or I don't know. But that's looking at the local news stations. My w Monona voice, the voice of Monona or yeah, my, yeah, how do we? <laughs> It's both for the. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I I do. Uh, I would like to add on to that too. Now that I'm thinking about it, because if we, I still like using WVMO or VMO, uh, but if we do have, it would have to be because my point is, if people go to the app store and see WVMO, the majority of people are going to think they're going to be able to listen to the radio on it. Yeah, I know we're going to do marketing and things like that, but um, that would be that would be one thing that could be frustrating for people is expecting the radio and not getting the radio. Right. And I don't know if that's a big enough deal to not move forward with something, but just no. something you're absolutely consider. right. If anybody not involved in this conversation, if you see an app that says WVMO, of course you're going to think it's the radio <laughs> on your phone, you know? Mm. My Monona does sort of, that is a known quantity already, you know? Mm. I mean, right. There is a thought of, right, if we wanted to tie it to the whole selling of My Monona, but I don't know how much that helps us if we yeah. said My Monona video, My Where Monona media. Come from? I don't know. The name of the newsletter. What's the history on that? Well, the website, mymonona.com, is the city's website. I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone know? Was there just a contest years ago when the website was being launched and someone said, let's call it mymonona.com? I think it was a previous mayor. Somebody who lived through the 80s and was listening to the knack on the radio. I mean. Yeah, I think it was a previous mayor that had the idea okay. for that, um, I, I believe. Well, we don't have to decide tonight, but we, but do we have a deadline eventually? I, mean, for I think we, should, we may have to like make a decision Soon. next time and then i'm actually get, i have to get a hold of the city attorney and and see if this is literally something the council has to vote on and i'm hoping not because it's not Jeez. it's not legitimately like we're not changing the department's name we're changing how we outwardly present the department uh i'm hoping not especially since we're not necessarily using anything new we're just kind of changing the name around we're not presenting a brand new idea you know we're using what we already have so anyway so i have to talk i have to talk to the okay. uh, the lawyer and then that'll be a whole nother can of worms 
So the department wouldn't change. We would still be community media, I'm guessing. The community the media product. committee. Like Katie that... talks about the product that we are promoting. You know, what is that called? Very different thing. Or could be a different thing. It's more uh, so all and, about just trying to make it easier so people know who we are than right. thinking it's two separate entities or three separate entities to the AV club, the, you know, uh, which that, that is a separate entity. We're not, you know, though we advise it, it's certainly its own thing. I don't want to try to brand the AV club at all. They it, That's special to the high school and that really, okay. you know, I don't feel like we should play around with that. So I go to my phone, I go to the app store, I download the app. What's the app called? Got to think of a name. And what does the app do? For now, it's just video, right? But one day, it might be the radio also? No? Uh, I mean, we'd have to get a whole new platform, and that would be... So it'll this, never be the radio? Not this okay. particular well, app with probably. this particular okay. equipment, no. It would never be the radio. It doesn't have doesn't have that capability. And this would also be right uh, changing. I mean, essentially, we could change the name of uh, Monona Community Media's Facebook page and not merge it with WVMO. That's certainly a possibility. And then we'd also need to change the name of the YouTube page that we currently call Monona Community Media as well. So it's not just the app. It would kind of be a re redo of everything and not everything. Yeah. All right. So maybe we all just. Katie, is your hand up or were you? I just had a really yeah. quick comment about the. I, yeah, I, I would hope that we wouldn't get too caught up in the um, radio not being played on the app. I do agree that like an all in one app would be fantastic, but I would guess, I don't know this app well, but I would guess that there's a spot for like, a link in your bio or a link to say like, hey, are you listening for our, looking for our radio station? Click here and it would take you to, you know, your browser to listen to the stream or something like that. So, I mean, I, I totally agree with Dave that an all-in-one would be the best, but I'm not even sure that exists right yeah. right now at this point, right? Like we're using separate apps for all those. So um, I, I'm sure there's, there's some workaround that we could create so that there's, every, people could find what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've got the voice of Monona, we've got VMO, VMO TV, my Monona. I think that was what we came up with so far, right? Yes, I believe so, yeah. Okay, great. Should we move on to the next item or is there anything more someone would like to add to the conversation about branding? No, I don't think so. I think that's the main thing, because uh, obviously we can't even move forward with the app until we until you know we say here's what we want it to call it, and then you have to like put in description of what it is and what keywords you want to put in there and stuff. So we kind of need to get it right the first time. So for now, it's just video, and it probably won't be the radio, but it could link to the radio. I mean, when we go out and talk to our neighbors and say, what would you call it? You know, like when we get people's opinions, that's kind of how we might describe it. Is that an accurate way to describe it? It's video. It's all the city council meeting. It's all the sports. It's all the, the video stuff that you see on YouTube, not the radio, but maybe someday it could have the radio. Well, I think it just, yeah, trying to line it more with the radio only because that's another part of what we do. So if I like my Monona, but I, I would hope, I, I wonder if people would still make the connection or if that would end up still being a separation True. of two things. True. All right. So yes, but right. so we, we, yeah, we probably won't have any uh, um, solutions tonight per se, but it's something to chew right. on. And I'll get some answers from uh, the Bill. powers that be and pass it okay. on to everybody and then, you know, I mean, I guess well, I'm hoping we can maybe we can uh, be agreeable on a, a decision yeah. next next week. Um, mm -hmm. or, excuse me, next month. Next month, yeah. Because I, the, the goal is to have this thing installed in March, the end of March. 
And we so we would need to have that all that information to them. We would need a a graphic, a name and a graphic and like font yeah. and and the graphic I would just use I something we already have, right? I wouldn't try to make a new graphic. I would use either right. that water element from the city logo or the water right. element that's in the middle of the O on WVMO. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just because it's what everybody already sees, I wouldn't want to try to make people uh, visually see something different. I'm really trying to get everything to look and feel the same. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Um, we also talked about, um, on the agenda, moving on, yeah. uh, the January newsletter, um, Anita and Amanda have, uh, sent out a call for content. Um, Anita, you received something from me, right? I talked to you about the SaltWise project that the sustainability committee wanted to promote. Um, well, that was last month. I think I don't think I've received anything. For December? Anything. Was that December? Mm -hmm. That was from Brad Brune, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want something for each month. We want something for January and February. So um, we want the logo and just like a quick link back. Mm -hmm. For those that have the ability right now, go to myminota.com. And on the home page, there's a graphic of Lake Monona. And it says, don't be salty. So that's the, that's the slogan from the sustainability committee to get residents to not use so much salt. It would be, it would have more impact if there were actually snow on the ground, but um, you know, you get what you get. And the point is that uh, one teaspoon of salt when the rain comes and it takes that, washes it down the storm drain and into Lake Monona, it pollutes up to five gallons of fresh water. So um, using less salt is just as safe and more, more of a better steward. Uh, salt, safety and stewardship all in one. So, um, so Anita, what we were thinking for the newsletter is just like, grabbing that graphic mm -hmm. and linking back to the website yep, and the I, website is every the website is everything people need yep i have yeah. i did that i have that in the draft i have a, awesome. a couple of other things that the mayor usually she sends her yeah. some late friday <laughs> perfect so things tend to trickle in uh friday saturday so okay <laughs> perfect wonderful all right um is there anything else that you need from folks for the newsletter or any ideas susan's got her hand up um, and I don't know how you mix this, and I, I'm sure Katie has some thoughts about this, but um, the governor actually came to the high school to visit, and you would know about this. Um, just, did you take him up on the roof? No. I wasn't there, but Katie may have been there. Yeah. Did you, did you make him climb up on the roof? Anyway, that would be a good picture. Um, <laughs> His staff declined having him climb to the roof. Understanding <laughs> that's a mix. Um, maybe one of the things you, is, a, is the article we do is um, something about moving solar and then maybe mentioning the things the city has already done so that it blends a little bit. And then that comment is, isn't this three semi right or and Katie? This is the only high school in Wisconsin that has solar panels. Well, and say, it's, the high, it's the high school that it is the largest rooftop solar array on any Wisconsin K through 12 building. So okay. there is a college that has a much larger array, right? But in Wisconsin, the K through 12 buildings, no other building has as large of an array as ours. Well, and so I think you can blend that in so it doesn't sound quite so school district focused, yeah. but it's um, recognition of Governor, Monona. Governor visits, you know, governor's recognition. Yeah, absolutely. Solar projects. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's fantastic. Um, and again, I think this might be 
too schooly, um, and Katie probably would say so too, but um, Dan Olson is superintendent of the year. Yep. And we'll be honoring him next week at the WSB state meeting. It was front page of the Herald. Um, he does live I in think, Cottage I, Grove. I wonder. I wonder and then Jared, anybody... just so you know, Jared Rosing is also a um, businessman, um, business of director year. of the year. And he <laughs> received that honor while here before okay. he moved to Middleton. And he'll be okay. receiving that next week as well. Um, and I'm sure the board will do something in one of the meetings to, it, we're trying to get Dan, let him get through the state recognition first. But um, again, looking for blending, um, I was trying to think of, something at the scene, you know, the things they do at the senior center are, you know, when was the last time you won a bingo game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with, with using the My Monona newsletter to say, hey, the governor visited our high school. I think that's fantastic news. And just because it was in the Herald Independent, is no reason not to run it in the newsletter. I think readership is different. I know a lot of people don't subscribe to the Herald Independent, you know, unfortunately. But um, I'm not the decider, but I think that's fine content. Yeah, well, and I think Anita probably has good thoughts about that. Yeah. And Katie yeah. will definitely yeah. have some good what guidance for us. Katie, do you have any thoughts on that? Um, only that I try to provide action items, like something that is like something sh people should do and not just informational um, to the newsletter, but we can change that up. And I think Amanda and Anita have said that's their preference. We went, you know, we went through all those statistics early on about like the engagement with the newsletter. Um, but certainly if there's um, available space and, and or just like your low on content, we always have something that we could we could provide, but I try to try to defer to like, if there's something that people need to know or take action on. Um, for example, in February, I will likely have something on an upcoming ballot issue. So that'll be, that'll be, that's, that is informational and like people need to take action on that one. So for sure that, um, but if that's, if, you know, if something has changed or if that's not the case anymore, I'm happy to provide some just um, celebration information. So Anita yeah, and I, Amanda, I agree. Have, yeah, oh, yeah, but a, I agree with the action what, item please? kind of thing to, as the focus. But if it's a slower month, you know, mentioning about the governor is fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there anything else you need from us, Anita? No. Okay. Do we have our Thank own you. pictures of that? I guess I'm wondering, like that aren't part of the Herald. Yeah, I think we Katie and I both took pictures of the, the governors that yep. we're talking about. Yeah. So okay. well, you could throw a photo in there then if it fits in the newsletter. Okay. Were the students excited when you visited? I can speak to that. Yes, we were very excited. Um, all of my classmates and all of us were talking about it and trying to see if we could see him. But yes, cool. we were very excited. That's really cool. That's yes, cool. even one of the students, Krishna, even put some pressure on the governor, didn't he, that one instance in the classroom? He did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does that in a, positive, in a positive way. Oh, yeah, of yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah. if you know that awesome, student, yeah. it, it wouldn't surprise you much. He's, exactly. a, he's a, yeah. Yeah. outspoken young man, or at least yeah. in my dealings. Yeah, I agree, he's, he's great. So um, Moving on then to the agenda, we talked. I want to talk a little bit about Dave and his PSAs, and uh, I think the point here is that um, we might want more voices on the radio. Is that how we would put that? Yeah, I mean, I Dave, I count twenty eight PSAs you sent, PSA scripts you sent us, and I feel like you had more, but nevertheless, that's twenty eight. Ideally, we want it. 
28 different voices so we could have all of them on the air otherwise if you know somebody records six of them we you know we can't really put all six of those of the same voice on the air it'll just be that same voice too much so i was hoping maybe uh some of the do, i could do a, um i could do other accents well uh british is always my favorite so if you could pull that off that would be good um that would be good i mean but if you if you have the recording at home dave yeah maybe you know Anybody you have around at home or friends that come over, have them do it up. And if, if anybody on the committee is able to come in, Joe, Brennan, and I would be happy to meet you at the studio and, and record. You know, you can just come in and record one or record three that we have to, to mix mix up. But we just it's hard to get a lot of different voices. It's something we always struggle with, but we need it. Otherwise, we can't really utilize everything we have. So, Dan, I, I miss... I mean, Will, I missed my um, Tuesday, and I'm sorry, Joe. I just, I, I was in a meeting and it hadn't ended. Um, so if we wanted to come up and read PSAs, you would give us the script and we should just call you and set up a time? Uh, yeah, email would be best, I think, for all of us. Email, okay, okay, okay. But, but Joe or Brennan, if you'd rather... You, you know, email is always easy for me, but that's that's just me. Same what for me about, too. What about using the just minimally? I'm looking at high school kids, um, and we probably have some input from from the students. But um, what about using the video club to do? I mean, they're right there. They have people that are doing thing. announcements and things. Yep, I was oh. thinking the same thing. They're right there, they're energetic, they know how to talk and speak. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you the other place that people would get excited is if you went over, you know, talk to Angie and go over to one across school. There's gonna be kids that are just gonna be hopping up and down to do it. And you're so close. You know, we could s schedule a time and I, I can send an email to Angie and just tell her if you're interested in that. Um, I would do say the kids the older... have to go to the studio. Do the kids need to travel to the studio or does the studio come to the school? Uh, we've done it both ways in the past. Both Winnipeg ways? School okay. has come to us. We've also brought a recorder to Winnipeg School. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Those are those are the type of things I refer to the teachers and the people in those schools because they're busy. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but I, I'm in a school, so they they're busy educating, and I try to respect that. And when they reach out to me or when they're able to do it, that's when we climb onto it. Um, sure. I've talked to okay. Angie. No, she knows there's pretty much an open invitation. But yeah. to your point, Susan, it probably should be something that we say every single year, like, "Hey, if, don't forget about us," type of thing. Yes, and Will, mm -hmm. if you could, if you or Joe could just, um, and Dave could just compose something, I'd be happy to. We can send it out in the chat, and it'll go to all the staff at the schools and say we're looking for um, a structured way to allow students to do um, intros on WVMO. Um, if you have a class that you think would be interested in doing this, um, don't count on it, but we may be able to arrange it. And then, then we'd have some names to work through. I might just send it to Winnipeg, right, Katie? So that we keep them nearby. Um, I mean, I guess I would, yes, um, but I, you know, I think to Will's point, like he, they do have people who come in. It's just not they're not always PSAs, um, but it's you know something like really specific that the class might be doing. Um, just having my own experience with my own children reading those, like they take time, right? They need to do a couple of different. Uh, they need to do it a couple of times. They need to get used to the microphone. They need to read. They need to. There, there's a lot. It's a little bit more time intensive for an elementary student to do something like that. But some and teachers think, will be very interested in it because 
you talk about the kids yeah. being in a learning environment, learning to do this kind of thing. First of all, it's a reading exercise. Second of all, it's a speaking exercise. And um, it, it's a good intro to that piece. I remember when they had speech at the high school, the kids would take that class and they would just, it was so difficult for them because they never had any experience doing that kind of thing. So it's kind of like taking a class over to the senior center and having them read to the seniors. You know, it, it, I see it as a really incredible learning opportunity for some of the students. If we can work and channel it in a way and the staff would support. I, I, there's several teachers who have recently retired who would love to do this. You know, a Barb Trap would do it in a minute, you know. Um, if you know, Susan, if you know the contact of these people, by all means, please reach out and, and send me, yeah, send give them my me information and let them know general, that they that are more than welcome to come on and do it. And Absolutely. I'll script it. And maybe I'll choose a couple teachers first, like Barb Dry. You know, I mean, they're, they're just some people that Carol Davick. Yeah. And then kind of, uh, do you just make an email introduction with that person yep. and will, and then you let and them work how, it out from there? How, and who to contact? Yep. Should they contact yep. me or will, you know, to follow through? Yep. And then I can make sure it gets facilitated. That yep. works. Katie, does that sound okay? Or is that, how old is your child? I have a, Second grader and a fourth grader. <laughs> yeah, been on there. so I mean, they I, think about it. If somebody came into their class and was doing that, and then they could listen to themselves on the radio, they might think that was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. They always so, think it's neat. Um, I, it's just a lot of work for the teacher, in my experience, and and discussing with the teachers when we do these yes. things, it's like. They're always very yeah. appreciative, like, thanks for working with us. It's been a long time trying to get this going. It took a lot of work. Some of these kids don't want to do it, but the ones that do it love it. Thanks. Hopefully we can do it again. And then I don't hear from and them maybe, for a year. So it's really, you know, it. I try to be respectful of the teachers that they do it within their curriculum and their time flow and their abilities. Well, and maybe we do it during a recess period. Maybe we do it, um, again, I think we can, maybe we do it after school for 30 minutes um, and a little wanna, differently. Yeah. I think I we could sure we have halfway. Oh, I'm, sorry to, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanna make sure we wrap up in an hour. And so here, what I'm hearing is that um, Will is uh, welcoming. If anybody we'll try. would email anybody would just to make an email introduction and then folks can go down to the studio and I don't know if that Will has enough time in his day to like take the show on the road and go out to the elementary school um, but for the time being it'd be great if people would just reach out to Will and, and record some PSAs. Well me Joe or Brennan to be honest like we we Sorry. can make the time yes. and do it I, i'm just very highly we're, we're all very highly respectful of the teachers in their classroom and the management of their classroom and their curriculum uh, to be honest yeah. that's where we're that's where i'm so maybe i'm hypersensitive of it but that's where i'm at on it personally yeah yeah i can see how that could be a dis big distraction okay last on the agenda um or second to last um just started a start a discussion about you know what could city communications look like? What are some opportunities for, um, for community media or whatever we are to call it? Um, and uh, I know that Will and Brennan have been sort of talking about ideas, kicking around ideas. Brennan's been with, uh, with the station for over a year now, so he knows how things are done and he's got a little more comfort with that and some time to breathe. Um, one of the ideas that Will uh, shared with me, and I don't know, Brennan, if you want to maybe elaborate a little bit, is just this idea like, well, what if we had a little more fun with like little videos and things? You, do you want to explain what you were thinking there? You want to go, Will, or should I? I can take it. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Here we go. So what I was thinking was like, get to know your city official, you know, 
we we looked up on the website on a website and we looked at like different silly questions you can ask a city official like what's your favorite cartoon you know what marvel superhero would you be able to be what's your favorite color and like do a couple of those like 10 questions in a row to different city officials whether it be park and rec the front desk the library people etc cetera, etc cetera, and release one video or release like what's your favorite uh, donut release 10 donut videos of 10 different people <laughs> and their answers on facebook every day you know what i mean so just make it fun like that and then just the other side of the spectrum um we had thought of like getting to know like i don't want to say the word city ordinances because that's not true but uh, different things like during the winter what uh, what do you need to know about smoke detectors so go down and do a little video uh uh is mcmullen uh with the mm -hmm. fire chief so do mm -hmm. like a it, it's not hard-hitting journalism it's literally we bought some new stuff phone we got a mic boom little little stick go down there and film it and just have fun with it cam show the fire detector and all that kind of stuff and just do little different videos like that each week each day and then just publish it every day on facebook every day on social media so it's it's one after another and those are the kind of content we were thinking that would get city involvement of monona community media and etc I shared with Will, if any of you are on TikTok, in the state of Michigan, the city of Holland, Holland, Michigan, has a hilarious TikTok station or channel. I mean, it's exactly what you just said, Brennan. It's like little interviews with the fire chief and the police chief and the parks and rec guy and whoever's in charge of tulips has his own tulip talk. It's so funny, but anyway. Things like that could, I think it's a great way to get people engaged. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Just like even the police chief, you know, what's something you need to know this today and do exactly. 10 of them in a row. So every right. day, Monday, Tuesday, release a new one every single day from the police chief. Yeah. What's a safety tip you need to know today and just carry and it through. Amateur, the amateur quality of it all makes it even more engaging. It just exactly. makes it more real and exactly. accessible. Like you're just a real person, Chief. Exactly. You know? I said, just just be real, be cool with it, laugh. You can laugh at yourself. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. And then just have fun with it. So, Brennan, how does this tie back to our first conversation of the night when we were talking about go to my phone, download the city app or whatever it's called, the mm -hmm. VMO app or the My Monona app? Um, sure. So, is that where the videos would be showing to us? Um, also, they would or? be shown on Facebook. Facebook. And, okay. um, we obviously we would load them into our server and then they can yeah. be, people can just punch on them. It's all oh, Monday. What's Monday's tip from the police chief. What's Tuesday's tip from the fire chief. So these are all things we can just load on the server. They don't necessarily all have to be, well, they will technically social media, but they'll be loaded on the television server and people can just go and click. But primarily you're thinking Facebook. Yeah. Social media type okay. stuff. Okay. But Got nothing it. we can say it can go on the server and, People That's can true. click away on the app. Same That's thing. True. If we have an Instagram account, I would cross post it there too. Yes. Yeah. Facebook Very. is kind of old people y like me. Oh boy. <laughs> it, it is nobody, nobody oh my daughter's age. Nobody, nobody under 20 has Facebook yet or 30 or whatever. Yeah. Maybe even under 40. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what we're thinking all in a nutshell. Okay. Do you, are you bringing it to this committee for volunteers or you just want to let people know? We've been letting people, on? Will and I have been letting people know throughout the week here what okay. we're doing. I know Will's been in city hall. He's talked to a few people and they're like, yeah, sure. We love it. So that's we're going to like Brad Braun, he's going to do it. Uh, Casey oh, from the, Casey from the front desk. We, that's a good, that's the one we're going to do. I'm going to do on Tuesday. And it's the most, what are like the most questions that she gets like all the time. And she's going to, I said, Hey, what, what's the most questions you're going to get all the time. And she's going to say the most questions I get, you know, a lot are mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. I said, mm -hmm. it's not hard. It's not hard hitting. It's just one, two, three, 30 seconds. You're done. We'll move on to the yeah. next topic. And yeah. that's all you need to do. How do I pay my taxes online? When are you going to pick up my Christmas tree? And yep. I can think of things that people are calling her to ask. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then, you know, obviously we have a little script already. I wrote up or we wrote up, excuse me. Um, 
you know, to find more information, please go to blah, blah, blah website and this section, that's it. I mean, it's literally, that's all it's going to be. It's not going to be a, a five minute deal. It's going to be probably a minute to 30 seconds. That's all you need. Yeah, it's super duper short. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Any questions about that or suggestions or feedback for Will and Brennan? No. All right. All right. So we're just at 601. Um, on the agenda, there was one final thing, just the SaltWise uh, reports. Um, I just want to encourage everyone to go to the city's website, myminona.com, and click on that SaltWise um, Don't Be Salty logo. And just, um, you know, we're. it's nice to have this committee to sort of get out that good information. Uh, Dave, with your PSAs, I would love it if you so feel inclined, if you're reading that over and you can think of something fun to say about salt, you know. Um, okay. I'm sure you can come up with something funny. Keep the salt in your margarita and not, not in Lake Monona. I don't know. Uh, Will, I think Will had suggested that one. But whatever you, whatever you do for a PSA, if you would just use the phrase don't be salty that's more than anything else because that's the slogan of the of the campaign all right all right we're at the end of the agenda is there a motion to adjourn i move to adjourn second all right all in favor Aye. Yes. Aye. Meeting and drink. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, for sure. Nice seeing everyone's smiles. It's been Bye, everybody. Hey, Katie, I have a quick question. Hi. Bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, yeah, and now, I gotta, now I got to remember what it was. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I was like, oh, now she's in front of me real quick. I got to ask it and I forget what it was. About something about the school or the high school community media anything we talked about will like we talked about tonight morning. no boy no. No. um no it was in the meeting i was like oh i should just ask her right after the meeting and as soon as we close this i'm going to remember what you'll remember was. yeah you could just yeah. text me or something if you think of it um That's fun. bye folks all right see you brennan, see you brennan. later I will. Bye. Katie. All right. I'll say bye. It's going to annoy me, but I'll say bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See ya. I, yeah, I can't. I just wanted to say that just in case you wanted it to be like just the two of us. <laughs> no, no. I should. Okay, you really I mean, okay. I was, I was okay with the four of us. I didn't need it to be everybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You just text me later. It's fine. It's yeah. not you'll think, I'm sure you'll think of it. Yeah. It wasn't anything like. <laughs> crazy it was just something about yeah. oh got it yes <laughs> candidates do we know who the candidates are oh. for school board um so elizabeth is running again susan fox is not running it is um wow and McKinney Rochelle miller running. he resigned yeah yeah he resigned. was that weird like was that out of the blue or what oh, it wasn't hold on, hold on. <laughs>